Hey guys, welcome back to my channel to another lipstick swatch video. I really don't have any makeup on today. I do have sunscreen and then I put uh, primer on. Which one did I put on? Oh yeah, so I have the Cover Effects Blur and Primer on over my sunscreen and then I did my eyebrows because I just need to get these done. <laughs> And then I put mascara on, but I really didn't put any other makeup on just because I feel like my skin needs to breathe. It's been really rough. So I'm trying to let my skin breathe. And because I'm having like a light makeup, no makeup day, um, this just ties into my lipstick swatch video today. And it's from Essence. I do a lot of Essence videos. I feel like your products are so amazing. Uh, this is the Essence Instacare lipstick. So there are six shades available in these. And I got these at Ulta. They're actually buy one, get one free right now. Um, how long that's going to last, I don't know, but I picked up all of the shades. So yeah, they are the Instacare lipsticks. And I believe, how much were they? They were between two to three dollars. And then you get it's not buy one get one free. I think it's buy one get one 50% off. Yeah, I don't think it's buy one get one free. But either way, it's still a good deal. Um, if you've never tried the Essence products, this is like a perfect time to try these out. So even though there are only six shades, you have some nudes and pinks in there and some reds. So there's pretty much something for everyone. I've tried their lip stains, I've tried their high shine lip glosses, love them, still some of my favorite products to date. And yeah, today we're just going to see how these ones will actually swatch. So, so these are supposed to be like a lip balm lipstick. Um, this is the shade Babe Powder, this is shade number 4. Wow, these are super creamy. So these are more of like a lip balm texture. And it should give you more of that lip balm feel. Um, a little bit does go a long way. It definitely feels more of like a lip balm to me. And they're actually made with 20% shea butter oil and vitamin E. And I can feel the moisture in this. The only thing is that I can tell that it's not going to last for a very long time. They are so moisturizing. And that just glides on really nicely. So I can feel the hydration on my lips. Um, the only thing is that it seems like it melts pretty quickly. Like the, the, the stick doesn't, I don't know, I'm concerned that it might just melt too quickly. Like sometimes your lip balm can get too soft. I feel like it's just a little bit too soft that it's not even like holding its shape really well but it's super moisturizing and i think that's the purpose of it it's just to provide hydration with a little tint because you can tell that the color is not like super bold or pigmented it's just like a sheer finish and that's what i really like because that's what i'm feeling like today when you have days like how i'm feeling where you don't want to wear any makeup like i usually just put a lip balm on but why not just take it up a notch and wear a tinted lip balm or a lipstick that feels like a lip balm? You get the gist of it? Yeah, so that's how I'm feeling like today. So now we're moving on to the shade Sweet Poison. Uh, this one swatched more like a wine color which it certainly looks like. 
and I notice that some pieces of the lipstick just like breaks off because it's too soft so that can get annoying like real quick but I am not mad this one is actually more pigmented than I thought it would be uh, it's buttery soft though it's like I said a little bit too soft you definitely don't want to leave this in your car because child it's gonna melt away I like this one this one gives you a little bit more pigment punch than the others very beautiful color I like that the application or the actual packaging reminds me of the ColourPop lippy sticks where they're nice and skinny and long and if you haven't noticed that these are actually angled so you can get to the corners of your mouth a little bit easier um, so that you can apply your lipstick with a little bit more precision as well. So the next shade up here is this red color called Romantic Doze. And if you can see, these are so soft that they're actually starting to melt. Because look at that right there. You can see like pieces of it just melting off already. And I haven't, all I did was swatch it on my hands and that's what happened. So that's definitely like a drawback of these. They're gonna melt and get messy. But let's just go and put it on. I might take off this piece that's already broken off of it. Because that's just going to end up on my lip somewhere. And just be careful. Don't like take too much of it out because I'm pretty sure that's just going to break off. So do a little bit at a time so it doesn't break. This one is a little bit more sheer, which isn't bad. Yeah, this is more of like a true tinted lip balm color. By the way, these smell really good. They smell like cotton candy. I like it a lot. Yeah, so you can see this one is a little bit more sheer compared to the others, which I don't mind it. Cause like I said, a day like today, no makeup. This is actually what I'll be wearing. So if, uh, if it's not a lip balm, it's gonna be a tinted lip balm. Pretty much it. Okay, next up we have Sandy Sunrise and this is more of a true nude color. Where's my mirror? Where is my mirror? I don't know what, oh, it's right in front of my face, goodness. Okay. Ah, this is not a bad color either. I like this. I'm actually wearing this one out today. Right, I woke up and I really didn't feel like putting makeup on today, guys. I don't know if you guys ever feel like that, but I was just not feeling it today. But I had to get my eyebrows done because they're out of control. It's like, mm, I could get arrested for my eyebrows. I had to get that done and then I put mascara on and that's it. Didn't feel like makeup today. But this color isn't bad. I could actually wear this today. I'm trying to find something to go with my outfit. This one might be too nude for it though. I think like a pop of color would be nice. Like that red one. Uh, what's it called again? Romantic Doze. Even this uh, 
purple one would do, which is the Sweet Poison. So I'm leaning towards one of these for my outfit today. But this can do as well, but it's just, you know, a little bit too bland, I guess, for my outfit. But listen, I like this color a lot. And I can even like zhuzh it up with a darker brown lip liner. That might actually work. That might actually work. It really just looks like a tinted lip balm. It's just like my lips. Yeah. Mmm. You can barely see it. Lastly, but not leastly, we have Refreshing Paws, which swatches to me like a cherry color. It almost reminds me of my Revlon Cherries in the Snow lipstick, but that's a little bit darker. So let's just get this on. Pieces of it are just breaking off and it's so annoying. Okay, I like this color. I actually think this one is the winner for today. Ain't that crazy? But honestly, either of these could have worked, but I do like this one. This one has a little bit more color in it as well. The pigment just keeps getting better. The only one that didn't have that much pigment, pigment in it from the darker colors is the red one, Romantic Days or Doze. This one was a little bit more sheer, but the other two from the darker colors, those showed up pretty nicely. They showed up. And you don't need a lot of this guys it's super hydrating and moisturizing it will also transfer because exactly so you can tell that it's not it's not going to last very long which is fine because if you're that person who wears a lot of lipstick but sometimes you just you want that color, but you don't want to wear like a lip balm, so you wear like a tinted lip balm. So you're winning still. And for me, I've been trying to like incorporate a lot more products that are that are like multi-purpose, so that I can carry a lot less junk in my purse. And I feel like these will definitely serve that purpose because I do wear a lot of lipsticks, and sometimes I just want to wear a lip balm and not have my lips just look so plain. So a nice, sheer, subtle color is what I would need and these serve the purpose for that. And also, if you're not into wearing a lot of lipsticks but also want a little bit more color, these will be perfect for you. So either way, you're still winning. And I like having multi-use products like this in my purse and they're great for traveling as well. So I don't have to carry lip balms and lipstick. I can just carry a lipstick that feels like a lip balm or a tinted lip balm so these are great buy one get one half off i believe on ulta so make sure you you test them out you don't have to buy every single color uh there are only six colors anyway so there's not like a whole shade range of it so for some of you that might be an issue for me that's fine as long as you have colors that would complement you know universally complement most people's skin tones but Overall, I think they're great, apart from the fact that they melt like crazy and they get super soft. Um, they're great. Just don't leave them in your car because they're going to melt away. If you guys like to see more affordable products like these, then make sure you drop a comment in the comment section because I'd like to know. Um, but if you guys like to see more swatch videos like these, make sure to go ahead and leave that comment. Go ahead and give me a big thumbs up as well and click the subscribe button. Also, 
how are you gonna know if I upload a video if you don't click that notification bell? You're just not gonna know. So make sure when you subscribe, you click that bell and you'll always be aware of all my uploads. But I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next swatch video. Bye.